came walking around the corner and I seen this freaking bear sitting there and it scared the freaking bejeebas out. I thought it was a big Rottweiler laying there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that thing. I don't know what you do down here. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> What do you know? Not much. So this morning we're going to be installing a Modine hot dog 100,000 low profile hanging unit. We're going to mount it up here in this 1200 square foot barn. Yeah, I said that's 100,000 BTU. <laughs> I uh, was trying to tell that guy you don't need that much because it's very well insulated. Right, Spin. You don't need that much. <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh, it's gonna heat up real fast, and then cool down, and then heat up real fast, and cool down, and that's propane. So I'm not doing the propane bill. So I don't. What do we know? Propane chugger. Okay, we'll uh, get you some shots, and uh, this is gonna be a full install. Let me walk you through what we're doing outside here. So we're either going to come off, come straight out here with the vent, or we may come out here and then we're going to sneak the gas down here and the propane tank's going to be set over there. So they should be here in a little bit. We're going to get this stuff jammed out and we'll bring you along. So we're unboxing this and it's a big daddy. Probably just lay it on its side and then pull it out, right? Nope, the other way, dude. Yeah. Pour it towards Corey. Well, we got that arm right there. Oh. There you go. That's probably Play it out a little bit more. Yeah, we can. Can't be that heavy, is it? No, it's not that heavy. Oh. Let's go. Right, so we got this uh, Diversitec Quick Sling. Um, this thing will mount right on the unit and it'll actually swivel. And then this here will mount up there like that along the trust 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 I'm gonna take it you probably want it like this location here is there those are oh okay I thought they were plugged that guy looks like it's that faster is gonna hang us yeah. up there and that it's right on those screws what if we uh put some wash shit. yeah put some washers underneath it so let's see here, I just want to make sure we got what they want. Don't really show what dimension on that bolt there. Oh, there you go, like that. <clears throat> Pretty much, I got the same setup in the greenhouse, but mine's 125. This is 100, so. Yeah, this bracket makes life a lot easier. Sure. Pretty slick. So, so we're gonna. Thinking, oh, you want to check the clearance there. So we're gonna basically be moving this. What do you, what do you call this, Corey? A Vermetti lift? Vermetti. Yeah. Vermetti lift. Slide it over there, and it goes up on cables. We'll swing this up, and we'll raise up, raise the unit up to the ceiling, so we don't gotta really struggle. You want 
this. No, I got it all measured out here in my head. Oh, it's look at you. Good. Might be able to take that, uh, uh, that, that out. Guy right now. Yeah, take that out, and then we can utilize those holes, except that one. City. slide this over because we don't think so from this point over here because these are four foot on center and this is off about a what'd you say a half inch for you so we're gonna redo that to make sure we grab something we can always angle it a little bit this way just to tickle this will be this will determine if we grab something and it stops. Well, we're going to probably angle it more this way. Which way? Probably right in the center. Tyler, bring it this way. Because he's going to be working right here. Yeah, somewhere. 
we once we get it up there we can twist it so Pull the left back, a snidgel. Pull the back, please. Yep. A snidgel. There you go. Yeah, okay, go ahead and come on up. Nice and slow. Good idea about this lift, Spin. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, four three. inches. Yep. Okay, keep going. Okay, stop. Yep. Okay, slow. Yep, up slow. Oh, okay, I think. There it is. All right. Whoop, hold it. There it is. Hold it right there for a second. All right. There it is. Tyler, uh, slowly drop her down. Yeah, that looks like a good, uh, good location. Right there. Yeah. Yeah, so just imagine this thing was coming down and I started palming this thing and back when I was about 21 years old and it jammed my knuckle knuckle right there when I was palming this thing coming down. That uh like I said every every freaking cold day that knuckle freaking hurts. Alright, now we can once we get that done we can start getting uh Working on the vent and gas. All right, we pilot it out. Let's see where it landed. That's some beautiful work. Like right on the rib. Like oh, said. great! Right on a freaking rib. That actually might work to your uh, benefit at the end, though. <sighs> yeah, and then right below that's the purlin where I thought. So we're gonna have to probably raise that up just a tickle. To your purlin. About five inches it looks like. Four and a half. So we're gonna have to probably raise that up maybe another two, three inches. No. So do we wanna stay on that or do we wanna I don't know if we can slide over anymore, can we? It'd be nice if we could get in between these two. Oh, <laughs> 
Shake and shake, bake and shake. All right, I'm gonna have to do Wait, some. Bake and shake? Right. You ever heard that song by Fiddler? Uh uh. Oh, you have to check it out sometime, Jonesy. They're snowboarding out on the sand dunes with the, uh, the Grim Reaper. Nice. everything's nice and square and then I'll probably just cut these and then I'll mount flush to that so I'll probably do that do that Just like that, put a little caulk right there, yeah, that'll fit nice. This should work out good. All right, let me get this buttoned up and we'll move on to the next project. There. What I did is I took a piece, this is this outer ring six and a half inches, this is four for the V-Vent. So I took a piece of six inch height, ran it between each other, it kind of gives it a, a barrier. There is insulation in here, so that way it doesn't get too hot. So we got two inches in between everything, nice air gap for combustible material. And then I'll stick my pipe out through. I'm gonna go past that eave about a foot, so. I think a five foot piece will get us where we need to go. With this B vent, for all that you don't know, it says up, that goes to the outside. Either obviously this can go up through the roof or it can be vented out horizontally. So you gotta make sure that up is actually facing outside. That's the way everything is rolling on this stuff. Come out 
maybe a piece here and a foot piece. I got a, some smaller pieces over here. Oh, let's see here. I got a 60 degree angle. Yes. I think I got a foot piece right there. That should get me where I needed to be. take this piece off and do a four footer and that should put me right about the edge of the eave. Digging of the trenches. LP companies here running the line. Got the regulator on. We're just about there. I gotta put the cap on that and then we'll be done with the vent. Here I gotta change these orifices out. This is set up as natural gas. I was like, that spring's way too big. That must be for a Honeywell valve. So, see the difference. So one's thinner, the other one's thicker, and it's a little bit bigger. Longer, yeah. yeah, so that's your LP one right there, so it gets tossed in there. We should be about 10 inches of water column. So I'm going to set that about right there for right now. I'll put him back on so I don't lose him. I'm going to throw my manometer on it when I get it all ready to go. strike over to there I gotta do electrical thermostat wire so I'm gonna
perfect with the ends of the E's, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Worked out good, didn't it? Yeah. That's the way to do it. All right, so I did that to notch this out to accommodate for my thermos that we're Okay. This is an Emerson uh, 1F S5U-2200 PR. I like them. They're nice thermostats. I have no idea how I got all the way over there, but... Alright, so... See how that guy's a little bit thicker? That's kind of your standard. Oh, all kinds of shit was scrubbed. We got four. Here was the other thing I was wondering. Did you want to double up the nut on top of that swivel point? I uh, can if you want. Probably wouldn't hurt. And then this one we're just going to do, we got heat, 24 volts white W for heat, and then we're doing G for fans, so we can run the fan on the circulate air if you want. Kick it on fan on. It's fan. All right. Get that to auto. I'm gonna turn that off right now. So I'm gonna put the LP kit on or um, adjust the pressures, and we'll fire it up. All right, I'm getting ready to check gas pressures in this, and if you are not. If you don't know what's going on or what's going, how to do this, do not try to attempt this because you can blow yourself up or blow somebody else up if you're not careful. Pipe broke on this, but this is like right next to the burner, so that's why I'm doing that. And I'm gonna tighten it up pretty tight. Put power back on and turn this up. Is this our charger? Yeah. yeah. Your left and right go in your bag, Dad? Or do they go in the pack out? Pack out. We should be about 
10 inches of water column. Tyler, come over here and stand next to this switch. So we're going to have to go out there and kick that gas on. Corey, can you go out there and turn that up just a tickle? Yeah, just a little bit. Smoky. Huh? Yeah. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. And we're at 10. Yeah, 10.5. I'm going to call it good there. Tyler, go ahead and turn the thermostat down. Good to go. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to undo all this, put it back together, and I'll see you on the other side. All right. There we are. This thing up. All right, if, you, if, any, if anybody learned anything from this video, smash that thumbs up button and we'll see you in the next one.